Shalawam. First and foremost, I want to give all praises and all glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai. I want to give double honors to the apostles of great mercy and do rule well. Salutations to the men of the whole plan since I elect. Here's a brother Makaza from a trend that camp. Just want to do a little edification for the elect's sake. And the name of this lesson would be Why is teaching important? Why is it important to teach? All right? And, you know, basically, the Lord sent us out there to be ministers. As, you know, as he told David, you know, he took him from the, the sheepfold to feed his people Israel. He also told him again, as Peter said, feed my sheep, feed my lambs. If you love me, feed my sheep. All right? So the Lord sent us out there on the highways and byways. And to, you know, to do these lessons to wake up the elect. You know, as he say in Isaiah 58, it says to uh, give them warning from me. And we do so through preaching and through these lessons. So is it, it is important, it is expedient that we go out there and minister unto the saints of Yahaba Hashem Yahusha because this is the sole purpose he woke us up. This Romans chapter 3 and verse um verse one it says what advantage had the jews or what profit is there in circumcision all right and right now we are the circumcision all right we circumcise in righteousness in faith in yahaba Hashem all right but two-thirds of our people right now they are uncircumcised so what profit it is to be circumcised to know yahaba Hashem all verse two it says much every way chiefly so in every way it profitable but the chief way because unto them were committed the oracles of yahaba shimeo shai and when you look up the word oracle it means words so unto us was given the words as as as, as paul said in hebrews 4 i believe it's verse 2 it says the word was preached unto us as unto them all right so the word was given unto us and not only the word but also the understanding of the word all right so that is the benefit the benefit of the circumcision of knowing this word is that the lord gave it not only the word not only his name but and his son's name but also the understanding so that you could go out and preach as the scripture says understand first and then rebuke all right there are run that read it so you have to understand this word before you do anything all right, you have to understand this word, and when you understand this word, you go out and teach. As he said, no man lighted a candle and put it under a bed, but put it on a stand that all in the house could have light. He had the light of the world. So therefore, you have to go out and teach. All right? And without teaching, all right, you won't, you know, the, 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 the elect won't be woken up. Because that is how the Lord chose to wake up his elect. All right? So you... You can't receive this word and just say, I, you know what, I know I'm a Hebrew Israelite, I know Yahweh, Hashem, Yahushai, I know the Hebrew, I know the, the prophecies, I keep him a beard, I'm not lining up, I'm not eating abominable foods, but you're going about your daily life and you're not, you're not, you're not giving warning. You're not giving warning. The scripture says, if thou want, don't want the wicked to turn from his wicked way, the wicked are going to die in his wickedness. But the Lord, Yahaba Hashem Yahushai, He's going to require your blood. Alright? His blood going to be on your hands if you don't want the wicked. So by not going out and teach, not going out and do these lessons, you actually slaying the people. you actually slaying the people. That is what you're doing. Alright? I'm going to read this real quick. This is the book of Isaiah chapter... 58 and verse believe it's verse 10 ah here it is it says if thou draw out thy soul to the hungry because our people out here hungry the lord said he fed them to the full all right it says the said that will feed you with knowledge and understanding all right it says if thou draw thy soul to the hungry and satisfy the afflicted soul how you doing this by doing these lessons, by going out on the highways and byways, and people are going to be out there, they're going to be empty, they're going to be down, and these words are going to actually satisfy their souls. All right? If satisfy thy, um, and satisfy thy soul. 
um, no, if thou, if thou draw thy soul to the hungry, verse 10, and satisfy the afflicted soul, then shall thy light arise in obscurity, and thy darkness be as the noonday. So, the Lord, Yahabah Hashem Yashai, He gonna bless you. He gonna bless you, not, not simply because you're doing your work, He will pay you, we are unprofitable servants, but guess what, blessings are gonna come your way, because you doing the will of Yahaba Hashem Yashai. And the scripture says he's not unfaithful to forget your labor of love towards his name. Alright? So if you go out and teach the Lord Yahaba Hashem Yashai, he's going to bless you for waking up the elect. Alright? Verse 11, it says, And Yahaba Hashem Yashai shall guide thee continually. And when we're going to need that, that light in obscurity and to shine as noonday, in the days of Jacob's trouble, he said, Behold, my servant shall eat. They shall be merry and have abundance. That is the day when you want the Lord Yahaba Hashem Yashai to, to satisfy your soul and to, and to make you shine as, as the noonday, make your darkness shine as noonday. Alright? By doing these lessons, doing going out and teaching, you actually laying up in store for the days of evil. You laying up in store for the days of evil. Because Yahaba Hashem is the one bringing the plagues. And he's the only one that could feed and give drink and shelter in that day. And safety. So by doing these lessons, by ministering to the saints, the Lord Yahaba Hashem is going to minister unto you in the time of trouble. It says, And Yahaba Hashem shall guide thee continually and satisfy thy soul in drought and make fat thy bones and thou shalt be like a watered garden and like a spring of water whose waters fail not but if you don't feed as the scripture says he that he that give it sparingly shall receive shall re he that stole it sparingly shall reap sparingly if you you know hardly coming out you're making excuses to come out and do the works you're making excuses to to to, to minister unto the saints and the lord gonna find some excuse to minister unto you in that day he might feed you once a week the same energy that you put out, the Lord put out that same energy to, 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 to feed in you and to deliver you in a time of trouble. Just remember, we laying up in store for the evil days by doing this work, by doing his work, doing the work that we were made to do. All right? So it's Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 21. Um, it says, for after the... For after that, in the wisdom of Yahaba Hashem Yahushai, um, for after that, in the wisdom of Yahaba Hashem Yahushai, the world by wisdom knew not Yahweh. It pleased Yahaba Hashem Yahushai by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. All right. So by preaching, the one third gonna be delivered by preaching. This is why it is important to teach. Because by said teaching, by said preaching, the people that were meant to see, be saved are going to be saved. They're going to believe through their words. As the scripture says, um, therefore we preach, therefore you believed. Faith cometh not by hearing. Not, not by, faith cometh come by, um, by hearing, my bad. Faith cometh by hearing and by the words of the Lord. Alright? That is how you believe. Through the words of Yahaba Hashem Yahushai. Alright? So if you don't go out and preach, then guess what? The, the, you you suffering the people. You, you taking away the, the children's bread. Alright? You taking away the children's bread. It is necessary to preach to wake up the elect. That is what the Lord sent us to do. That is how the Lord organized his work to be done. Through preaching. Alright, the Lord could have woken up the elect anyway, he's so pleased, but he did he did it by preaching. Alright, so that prophecies will fulfill. Alright. This is Baruch chapter 4. Um Baruch chapter 4 and verse 36 says, O Jerusalem, look about thee towards the east, and behold the joy. That cometh unto thee from Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Says, Lo, thy sons come, whom thou sentest away. They come gathered together from the east to the west by the word of the Holy One, rejoicing in the glory of Yahweh. 
by the word they come gathering by the word of Yahba Shmiyah Shai. All right, the word is what gathering the elect, nothing else. So if you don't go out and preach, then how would they be gathered? How would they be gathered if you don't go out and preach? The reason you was woken up, not because you just picked up the Bible and understood. All right. You didn't gain this understanding by some epiphany or some divine intervention that you just woke up one morning and bam, Hebrews, right? It was divine inter intervention, however, when you went out in the streets and saw the brothers. That was divine intervention. The Lord led you to, where, to, to, the, to the spring of life, all right, where you could receive this word. The Lord, Yahweh Hashemesh, he led you there, all right? And you was woken up through preaching. Therefore, you have to, as the scripture said in 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 2, the same thing that was heard of me among many witnesses, the same commit thou unto faithful men that they may teach others also. So it was a chain reaction. The Lord taught one, just like he taught Paul, which is Abba Bivens, all right? And from there, it, it trickled all the way down unto you, unto all of us, all right? And that is, that, is, that is how we, we learn this word. And that is how we're going to be saved. Through preaching and through belief in those preachings. And through belief in Yahaba Hashem Shai Through those preachings. Alright? So it's necessary to preach. It is very important to, to teach and to go out on and, and the highways and byways and do your lessons. Alright? If you're not doing this, then you actually, you robbing the children. you robbing the people of Yahaba Hashem Shai By not going out. Because as we just read, in Baruch, they gathered from the west to the east by the words of the Holy One. By the words. This is Romans chapter 13 and 10 and verse 13. It says, For whosoever shall call upon the name of Yahabah Shemian Shai shall be saved. How then shall they call on him whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe on him whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? You can't get around this. Some of you might say, well, you know what? A lot of people know me. I don't want to go out on the highways and byways because, you know, they will see me and they, they might make fun. So what? So what? You can't be studying your image. The men that woke you up, they weren't studying their image. They were studying the glory of Yahaba Hashem Yahu Shai. All right? It says, And how shall they preach except they be sent? At his, as it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and glad tidings and bring glad tidings of good things. And that is what they're doing. They're preaching the kingdom of heaven is at hand. That is what we do in preaching the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And if we didn't go out there beginning with the apostles all the way down, from our events all the way down, if they didn't go out, we wouldn't have been here. If the Lord did not allow YouTube to be created or other media streams where the elect is waking up, Guess what? We wouldn't be here because all those things were created for the Lord's use. All right? For his use. All right? It says, um, verse 16, it says, But they have not all obeyed the gospel, which is true. Two thirds of our people are not going to believe. It says, For I just said, Lord, who had believed our report? So then faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the words of Yahweh Hashem Shai. So that is how faith cometh by hearing. So, and if you don't preach, the people won't hear. If you don't preach, the people won't hear. So, stop robbing the people and go out and do the works. Do your videos. Do your lessons. Alright? So, with that, you know, I want to give all praises. On our glory to Yahweh Hashem Shai. Alright? I want to say, salutation to the men of the whole plan. Say, say, like, you know, double honors of, you know, to, 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 to the apostles of Great Millstone. All right, the men that went out and taught this word so that the elect could be woken up. All right? And, you know, salutations to, to, to all you that holding fast. All right? Until the day of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. With that, I want to say Shalom.